So are you having trouble deciding on which type of sprinkler to get? With so many choices available, it can get a little overwhelming. So why not make it easier for yourself and build your own sprinkler that will not only get the job done more accurately and efficiently, all the materials you'll need will be located at your local hardware store while also not breaking the bank. Hello everyone, Albert here. Thanks for joining me today. Did you know that in 1871, the first US lawn sprinkler patent was registered? Well, now you do. Now in this video, I'll go over the materials and tools you'll need, followed by the very simple step-by-step -step building process. So trust me when I say this is gonna be very simple. I've built six so far. Currently, I'm using the Rainbird 32SA sprinkler head. Now with all that said and done, let's get started. Supplies you're gonna need a clamp, one block, pencil, measuring tape, so I'm gonna cut the PVC pipe. So this is the way you're gonna set up the clamp. At six inches, that's where you're gonna put the one, one block. Okay, so the PVC pipe's gonna go here, stops here. You're gonna cut, and all your pieces are gonna be exactly the same size. Okay, once you got all your supplies down, Make sure that your area is clean of the shavings after cutting these because they'll be everywhere <laughs> and on you. Make sure nothing's inside uh, the piping. Usually just blowing them out, just rubbing your fingers here real quick should be enough to get everything out. You'll see nothing but clean and no writing. This, this is my preference. You can put it any way you want, it doesn't matter. But for me, I like all the writing facing down so it looks cleaner from the top. Now, you can use this version, it works for me. It's, it's, a, it's a single one step, cures in two hours. Now, when you put the cement down, you don't need to drench anything to the point of runoff or drip off. Just take some off, vent. Smear some all around the inside. That's why I do this a little quickly because this thing dries incredibly fast. Give it a little twist. <clears throat> hold it for, the can says hold it for 30 seconds and more into the 15, 20 seconds because it just holds that well. And uh, one thing that may happen to you is once you put the glue and you know you stick it in how I am doing it now, if you let go too soon, this part will actually start popping out. Yes, do hold it in place for about, you know, me, 15, 20 seconds, but the can says 30, because it does pop out and it's happened to me before. So you see the difference, right? Nice and clean, presentable. Not too presentable. The end cap. So honestly, any side you choose, the opposite end, and you're gonna have the, uh, the threaded male. The female and male, these two don't matter unless you have a preference. <sighs> if you do find yourself adding a little bit too much where it starts to try to drip off, just blow on it, and you could actually make the glue, the cement run or the, the connection, and <sighs> you won't have any more drips. I think originally I had gone around it three times each. It's your preference. Just enough to where it doesn't leak. Since I already have some, I'm just gonna go around this thing once. Now you could either leave it at <clears throat> being hand tightened, or you could go just a little more to it. I haven't had an issue. With these leak, you can add some of this tape around it. I'm not going to because I just I've just never seen them leak. When they do, I'll add some. But for now, you can skip this. 
Now don't put any pressure on the pieces you just glued. They need two hours to fully cure. So I'm holding it from right here and I'm twisting. Sprinkle. This one, just hand tighten. Don't use a tool. These, the plastic isn't as thick as the adapter here. And I'll tell you a reason why you don't want to over tighten this and why I used uh, a threaded connection versus just gluing it, gluing one 90 degree piece right here. Wherever you mount these, right? Let's say the angle or the elevation, whatever it's, it's off left and right. Now, this gives you the ability to get a turn it left, turn it right, left or right. Now, what I found is that if I, depending on, again, how your, your lawn is, how it sits on it, if this thing seems to be sitting at uh, lower, you can just put a rock over here and have it sit uh, more evenly or just to keep it in place. Just put a rock right here in the middle or over here, big rock, and it'll hold it in place. There you go. Let's say this is the last one. Let's say you're gonna chain them up where you, know, you have three of these connected. Once you get to the last one, you get a threaded end cap. You cap that last one off. That way, later on in the future, if you wanna keep adding more to them, instead of having to cut it off like this one, just unscrew it and keep on connecting. Now you could, if it, if it on your last one, you could make it just glue an end cap to it, but that's a good option to have for the future. And again, you don't need any of this kind of tape on there because I, I haven't had an issue of them leaking. Okay, so for this particular set, I put <clears throat> uh, a shutoff valve to control the pressure coming out of the sprinkler. And I'm doing this because I'm building this for my neighbors and this is the last one in the connection. So they're gonna have a total of three. So this is the third one. They got some flower beds that can't get moisture on them uh, too often because they start growing fungus. So on this third one, they're gonna they're gonna be able to control the pressure coming out of here with this uh, valve. Please shut it off to just max pressure. So in case you run into the same issue or you need to control the pressure off of your sprinkler, just add one of these in the mix, and that's all you need. See, that was easy, wasn't it? But don't forget, it's got a two hour cure time. And which sprinkler head are you gonna go with? Leave me some comments down below. Also, hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you enjoyed my video. Once again, I'm Albert, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next project.